If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm climbing. It's really not that unusual. In fact, it's something the government has been doing for years, except they've been climbing towards the debt ceiling. In fact, lawmakers right now are considering actually raising the $14.3 trillion spending gap. Some argue it's like raising the credit card for lawmakers who like to have America spend but not pay off their debt. Some lawmakers have even argued that a few of our greatest presidents would be against having a debt of this type of magnitude. I place economy among the first and most important government virtues and public debt as the greatest of the dangers to be feared. President Thomas Jefferson. And not just Thomas Jefferson. Back in March of 2006, Senator Harry Reid also quoted Abraham Lincoln. President Abraham Lincoln said, as an individual who undertakes to live by borrowing, soon finds his original means devoured by interest, and next, no one left to borrow from, so must it be with government. Did I mention this was in 2006 during the Bush administration? The deterioration of the federal government's finances is the direct result of the misguided priorities of this administration. And now, under the Obama administration, Reid says he's embarrassed by his vote against raising the debt ceiling in 2006. And despite his passionate floor speech that referenced three presidents, billions of dollars in debt, and one mighty Reid vote against raising it, we're still not adding things up correctly, it seems. But that doesn't take into consideration the numerous times, numerous times I voted to increase the debt. Oh well, onwards and upwards. For CNSNews.com, I'm Eric Shiner.